a wonderful good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel today we are playing Lilianas again in the flag slots um, part of the reason is because we actually need to go toe to toe with a lot of big creatures right now and I want to have another outlet to um, just be able to get rid of them in Liliana of the Veil vale. uh, last of Liliana replacing um, Plague Marine. Um, it's pretty good, but most of the time, even against Eldrazi Tron or something, um, they do have answers for creatures. And since we don't actually play any other creatures that you know they need to get rid of immediately, most of the time they still have it in hand. And therefore, I just want to um, sidestep that a little bit. Also, most red decks are running Fry by now as a sideboard card, as I already said in the beginning when it came out, um, which is a pretty good card, of course, but they seldomly can get rid of Black Plains Walkers, so, um, because you would be needing to play Noxious Grasp for that, and therefore, that's pretty good. So, we're playing a Mon League here. And join. So the first, whoops, spoiler came out. Um, well, not really a spoiler, but the first blooper, I guess. For Throne of Uldrain. And people saw a couple of fairies, and now all the fairies are spiking on all the uh, common marketplaces. Mm. Alright, so this appears to be normal Tron. Black isn't that important. I'd probably rather go for. Steamens here so that we have an easier time getting crypting out on turn four. So we're packing Dread Boar in the sideboard now over Angrath's Rampage, but in this particular matchup, Rampage would actually be pretty good for the next couple of games. So now we want a Black Source. Come on. Mm, that's not it. Yeah, so one turn to late here. I guess we're still gonna play it just in case. Otherwise, like if we had drawn a Black Souls there, I think we had a pretty good setup. No, they already have 10 mana.
So even if our Jace here gets killed, I don't think that I want. Uh, to play another one here. Oblivion Stone, sure. Carn liberated and another tower. All right. So nine. Seven, two, six. So we will be able to counter the Karn. And he will only be able to pump the Walking Melissa once. And if he decides to pop the Oblivion Stone, then that's still two for one in our favor. Possibly a three for one if we decide to. So I left three mana open instead of going with another Zerum Visions here. Because of the on the one hand, of course, I want to be more selective with Logic Knot, because we have to we can only leave three cards in our sure. Well that is not very impressive, I have to say. So he still does have five mana here. Um, I'm not gonna. Yeah. <clears throat> I was gonna say I'm not using the Colgan's command yet because otherwise he would have had five mana to um, pop the Oblivion Stone in response. Discord ancient searings, interesting. I'm taking it up once. Don't want to play more permanence into the Oblivion Stone if not necessary. So this is six, one more, seven. Now we still have the nimble to either counter the oblivion stone. So, Lightning Bolt is not yet a thing, I believe. 
but I would like to have another land here so that we can fire a Codon's command without having to um, deny ourselves in the players of Cryptic Command. But he has so much mana already that we could easily be running a walking ballista, for sure. So, um, I want to return the nimble and destroy that thing. And then we have cryptic and nimble up. And as long as he only plays one threat a turn, we might be able to manage. But we probably need to put some pressure onto the battlefield quite soon. So that's our land. Actually. Yeah, this turn we're gonna keep our nimble, next turn we're gonna play the the chase. Put that card to the bottom. So we could be playing our nimble here, but I do not want to overcommit. So I'm just going to play oops, Jace here, see what he does. Because we should be able to deal with all the planeswalkers, the only problem that we really have will be in Ulamog. I need screen. I guess that is going to be a Sanctum of Ugin. Yep. Another card. So since he's only got 6 mana left, I think we let the Sanctum resolve. And then counter the ability of Karn. Yeah. Because he needs to... Um, okay, maybe he doesn't. Yeah. Take our Terminate. I mean, he has to know that he's going to lose that Ulamog now, right? But anyhow. So we've gotten rid of a whole lot of threats here already. Nimble is actually pretty good. Yeah, might be better than a tarpid here. Alright, so.
So we've gotten rid of two, three corns, Ulamog, two walking ballistas, a warm coal engine. And now we hope that our opponent is actually going to draw. A couple of lands for a change. Alright, so you know, he was thinking about it. Four mana. Karn. Alright. Yeah, they play little Karn as well. Alright, so everything that we did was correct. I guess he would have gone for Lattice, but he could have also just gone for... Um, say a warm cool engine and probably wouldn't be able to pull out of that one anymore so no yes and then yes Torpid is interesting. I would say we put it on top. Now this isn't super great. But we're gonna go snap Colagon's command, get back in nimble. I would of course rather maintain uh, snap cryptic, but we're defenseless in this um, turn. All right, just an expedition map. It's fine. that very reason I'm gonna go with visions here that's actually pretty good all right so we're gonna attack for five then we're gonna rise chase and snap Play Jace and still have the nimble up. Hmm. All right, just a Sylvan's grind, and now I'm gonna go full offense mode here. Um, well, Blast Zone is actually a bummer, so we're not going. on the offense yet. That's interesting though. So he's just going with two and we have five blue sources so we can, yeah, that's fine. Cryptic, Nimble, Nimble, Logic Knots, And I would be surprised if he does have a solution for our hand here. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to be going to the toilet and be right back. Alright, we're in the cyborg here. 
packing in three fulminated mages. I guess our opponent's gonna bring in uh, graveyard hate. On the draw, I'm gonna cut one Jace, bring in one red boar, just to have an answer to a couple of the planeswalkers. Uh, Grim Lava Mesa isn't great, of course, because of Walking Ballista, but Ceremonious Rejection is pretty neat. Um, Blast Zone isn't really necessary. And since we're on the draw, I think I'm willing to cut one. Because I'm not willing to give up um, Serum Visions in the matchup. Now we do have enough lands. All right. So we're going to Thought Seize first, just in case he only has one green. Ancient Stirrings, whatever. Okay, two towers. Might actually be prudent here to go after the Relic. But I also don't want him to find more Tron lands because that will give us a little bit of time. Slowing him down a little. Hopefully. Yep. All right. So we at least gain one turn, which is already pretty good. Nimble to the top. Torp it out. So by him playing another tower here before he played anything else. I think that they don't have more lands in hand. They might be inclined to pop the relic here. It's not very scary. Alright, so our opponent is actually out of lands. So now we only need to find some sort of fulminated mage and or I don't yet want to force him to pop the relic here. We will do it at some point, but the time hasn't come yet. Alright. 
So let's see. I think what we want to do here is actually. Discard and destroy, and then go follow up with the rice fall. Then he's got one card left in hand. I guess he's gonna discard the corn. Oh well, had one that was more expensive even. <clears throat> so this way, if he finds a land and doesn't have a Thalmatia in hand. Alright, just a Karn. Well, that was unlucky that we hit everything but the full man play here. Sure. Don't script. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So bottom top. This one can come in tapped, and there we go. Kill the corn. Oh, great. I feel like this was the best sequence of draws for opponent possible. So um, let's see. We could be hitting it with a tar pit, of course. And just play out Jace. But I guess if he hits natural Tron there, then he can just go and grab a Megastent Lattice and we're dead. But there's close to no way for us to insulate from that. Alright, we're just gonna go and hit it. If he hits natural Tron, that's very unfortunate. Oh, come on! That was undeserved opponent. That was extremely undeserved. That was also his only out there. Um, expedition map wouldn't have worked because he would have has to tap three mana for it.
imagined as much. All right. And that's the power of Karn. Like you have your opponent at the ready. I think I'm going to go after the tower. Since our opponent's waiting here, I guess he does have more than one option to play land. Which means. Okay. And there we go. Alright, so somehow we need to get to cryptic mana here. He's up. Since we have rejection, we might be able to buy ourselves one or two turns, but he's going to be at 8 mana next turn. And Expedition map is still a pain in the ass. Well, let's take a more aggressive stance here. So we're going to play the Black Root Untapped just because either we can go with Cryptic Command or we can go Rejection, Snap Rejection, which could also be pretty important. I think our opponent is actually playing pretty well within the lines that are available to Tron. So Sanctum and no play. That could of course mean that Nulamog is coming around indeed. If we go snap here, put him down to 5.
as long as expedition map is on the field. Lol. Not exactly then. I would have put him down to six, of course. <clears throat> Insane. Insane. So if we would have had that one turn with an additional nimble on the battlefield, we would definitely win here. But now it's looking pretty grim. So I want to see what he's searching up first. Probably a one call engine, I would imagine. Walking Ballista. Ah, that's also pretty strong. Let's see what he does. So opponents, hate to say it mates, but you just got supremely lucky in these games. Not a tower. Interesting. Ah, oh, come on. This is unreal.
All right. Lucky, 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 lucky opponent. That makes me aggressive. That is pretty slow. Oh, great. It's nothing better than to playing against Burn and starting the game with Water Grave and the Thoughties. Um, sure. I guess we have to get rid of Morris Reckon out here to prevent any shenanigans. That's also a 3 3. That was weird. The utter disregard. It's angering me. So, opponent, what are we going to do? So on the one hand, well, we're still playing two Liliana's main, so I'm going to put it top-top, 
but then discard the other seven visions so that we potentially <clears throat> have the ability to play Liliana's before we run out of cards and then we flash the Ceremonians back next round Another Rekuna. Lightning strike. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm still going with Serum Visions here. Um, of course that leaves us unprotected, but we need to find something soon. And there's Liliana. But that doesn't really help us. I think it's bottom bottom here. So the good good thing is our opponent might have a couple of spells that um, are not going to be lethal, like shock. On the other side, though, without any pressure, we're more than likely to just. And die to his top decks. Love it. That is pretty wild. That is pretty, pretty wild. So, of course, we could be playing our Snapcaster Mage here. Definitely has a an instant there. Next turn we could Vexing Devil. Yeah, I think I'll let that resolve.
No, please. Because now we have Snapcaster Mage, Serum Visions, and then the other Snapcaster Mage can still go. And counter spell. But this this is pretty wild. Full burn neck. <laughs> that makes a couple of things easier. Nimble. Well, that at least is a card that I can get behind in terms of damage. So I'm quite sure that he's sandbagging at least one card there. And I'll be playing the Scalding Torn next turn as well, just so that we actually have enough uh, lands because he's already got this yeah three so seven it's getting pretty problematic there We only need him to break one or two more times. Problem is that we don't really have a good way of getting rid of. That's what I meant. Like non lethal, non three mana stuff. Whatever he still has an end. Low, so let's think about this. He has enough mana to play anything on his own turn, and we don't have enough to counter both, right? Can't fetch this anymore. One, two, one, two. Yeah, we also don't have enough for double lodging now. So I'm gonna go ahead here, play the Snapcaster Mage, put him down to five. Magma Jets. So he's got four mana open. We should be able to counter that. And a lightning bolt over the top is lethal now. One, two, three, four. Never mind. One, one short. 
under those circumstances, of course, Blast Zone would have been better in retrospect. Now we're missing out three damage of the Lightning Bolt. Supremely unfortunate. But if we don't run out the Lightning Bolt, then we wouldn't need another turn anyway. So I guess somewhat fine. And we do have a blocker for Goblin Guides, etc. That's not gonna be it. Alright. Nope. Yeah, we have multiple ways of winning this now. Of course, we can just blast someone. Could have also just played nimble and flew above him. Alright. <clears throat> Pretty rough games here. Um, so Liliana of the Veil is actually still pretty good. With this many creatures. Grim Lava Mensa is not as good as it usually would be because we can't actually kill anything with it. <clears throat> Kali does, of course, great. Mm. This one needs to go. And due to, mm, due to the fact that they have so many relatively slow spells or high mana cost spells oh you cut the wrong Liliana here um I'm inclined to keep the rise fall in also because that gives us an additional avenue of getting rid of a Boris Reckoner without actually having to kill it with lightning bolt Down to five on the draw. That ain't good. By now it's just a joke here. I guess we're gonna get rid of both terminates. Although that's not great. That's so weird. So need to hope that we're drawing a land here. Which we don't. It's thus I'm not gonna take any risks. Don't wanna show myself. So 
So we're observing the amounts of um, basic lands that they are playing here. Because since their burn deck is quite mana hungry, Um, I'm inclined to bring in Fulminator Mages, but we have to observe the mana base first. And the field, Lotus Field is Hexproof, and therefore that's not a good target. Rendering Lolly. Interesting. Promo bolts, but then playing. Interesting spells. Alright, so. Unless we draw a black source here, probably need to. Uh, Bold the Boros Reckoner. Hmm. Going to the bottom and going to the top. So we're taking three damage, which is not that much for a three mana spell, but it's still not super good. For us, of course. But now it really comes down to how many lands will they have. And how fast can we get there? We need a black source. So he apparently has some clunky spells in hand. And just playing Snapcaster Mage with the Lightning Bolt up isn't going to be enough here to get the, the job done. So I'm going to Serum Visions. See what's on top of our, of our deck. I mean, we're down to five, so. Partially fine that we're so far behind here. Kalitas would definitely bring us back into the game, but not without any black sources. My goodness, our opponent's also playing so slow. I'm gonna wait for one turn here. I want it to be a watery grave. So that we also have access to uh, cryptic commands. Magma Jets. I guess this is actually pretty important to counter. Um, just to due to the fact that he can set up his draws. And he scries two, yeah. So definitely don't want want that to happen.
I'm even fine. Like, if he does have Boris Charm in hand or whatever, I'm fine with going down to one. But I'm not fine with him chaining, chaining cards. All right, let's see. Jace and the Snapcaster. So bottom top, Jace goes. We pretend to have a counter spell, but in fact we will have one next turn. So I guess he's gonna run into that one. If he's just gonna play a creature, that's fine as well because we have rise fall. Yep. But now it becomes interesting. So our Jace can block the Boris Reckoner for one turn. That's not the big deal. The big deal is... That we will need to have a second Black Source here. To use both Inquisition and Risefall at the same time. But then we wouldn't have a Snapcaster up anymore. All the spells that I've seen are instant spells, aside from the creatures. So, I think we need to take the risk here because we wouldn't be able to counter anything anyway. Um, to put the counters here. If he kills us now, he kills us. Interesting. So potentially does not have either it doesn't have an instant, which would be fine with me, of course. Or it just has that, yep. All right. <clears throat> My goodness, the games are so long today. Mama, mama jetting, mama jetting your own card. All right. Oh, we could counter the triggers, of course, but I don't think that's really what we want to do. Also, I don't really understand why he would target his own Reckon now, because now he can just go get blown out. Like if we had some sort of non damage removal. One, two, one, two. Hmm. Three. So we take one damage.
and then next turn we're gonna go serum visions and utilize blast zone Serum so if we had drawn a land here, we could have also just bounced the thing and then countered it again. Mm. Yeah, I think we need one turn of him drawing a land here and then after that we, sh we could be in business again let's see do you have an opponent? Are oh, you gonna have something, right? All right. <clears throat> well, we kept ourselves up there for quite some time, and our opponent's playing. A little bit too many. I think I'm gonna go with Fulminate Majors here. Because he's playing all sorts of um, non basic lands. I think if we make it to Kalitos here, we could be in good shape. That's actually a very good draw, um, not only because we need 4 mana, but also because now we can fetch for 2 basics and still be able to utilize our Lodging Knot. Yeah. Clifftop Retreat. I haven't seen any card in the deck that is actually capable of no. uh, killing our Kalitas. So that's quite good. And then if it lives for one turn, we should be able to protect it. Yeah, I guess top top. We go with Warrior Grave here. Next turn, we can just go Mountain, and we don't even need to fetch. Well, there, yeah, there actually is a way for him to uh, get rid of all Kalitas. And that might be a reason not to play Kalitas here yet. Yeah.
because um, he could just redirect two spells that he's playing on his Boros Re Reckoner, like two damage, then three damage, and would kill our Kalitas. And although that's really costly for our opponent, I think that's probably worth it for him. So this way, we make him replay it. Then we have a lightning bolt. And then we might need to sequence it in the way that we go lightning bolt it first. Not anymore. Because now he's just going to replay it, and we get a token, and he can't kill our Kalitas, which is good. And then he would need to deal 10 damage to us. In that turn. That's, that's a question now. So right now. I think I'm actually gonna pass the turn because he's if he's gonna direct something at Bolus Reckoner at two damage first, um, then I'm gonna respond with a lightning bolt. Could have 10 damage in hand. Definitely could have. I think now is the time here. So he's wasted a big spell in order to protect his Boris Charm, uh, Boris Reckoner. And he's just targeting us. So I don't think that he's going to be able to deal 10 damage here on 2 mana. Where is he? So we have a Lodging Knot up, but I think I'm just going to take the... Five life here. Next turn we would also have Cryptic, so... <clears throat>
lightning strike. Cool. All right. But this way, Kalita soaked. I don't know. Um, 12 damage, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So we could also just run him out of time, but I would rather just beat him cleanly. Interestingly enough, matchup despite our opponent playing so many or many more high costed um spells it wasn't actually that much easier to play against on the one hand of course because we didn't know our what our, our opponent was on on the other hand though um mainly because it required us to play around more stuff. All right, so equalize here, and I'm going to be back with round number three. All right, guys, welcome back to round number three. Anyhow, so if the next Dex, Eldrain or whatever, is going to feature fairies, I hope that there are going to be a couple of flash creatures in there. Um, so maybe something interesting for us as well. Forest birds. Most of the time, that's not a good sign. Although Liliana could come in handy here, but we might have to fetch four basics with our polluted deltas. Yeah, no turn to play. Could be Ponza. becoming more and more likely. So let's see what's going on there in our opponent's hand. And then we 
we can still follow up with Lilian the next turn. Yep. Pillage, Pillage, Inferno, Titan. So he needed the double red, and that's why he didn't play anything. <clears throat> so this is gonna be a Water Grave. No, he does have the double red indeed. But we'll still take some time for him to get to Titan. If Liliana's going to eat two bolts, I think I'm good with that. And I also think that I'm just going to go Ceremations here. So return and discords. So the good thing about this game is that we're showing our opponent that we're actually playing quite a lot of basics and a lot of let um a lot of lands in general so that things might be more difficult for him uh, during sideboarding. So, Encrypted goes to the bottom, this one goes to the top. Yeah, it's still good, like, getting a lander still close to a stone rain, because it's really important cards, just cost more than 4 mana. I think 1 terminate should be enough at this point. And then we have 8, so we have lethal. After sideboarding, all these are gonna get gone. Um, let's see. I think I think I like 
Grim Level Mats here for a couple of reasons. On the one hand, well, maybe just as a one-off. Scorpion God. The last one by itself will probably not be good and just be a mountain. I think I'll run it this way. <clears throat> We're not the luckiest with our opening hands today. Still not super good. Mm, yeah, getting rid of a snapcaster. Done. Yeah, so probably lose our creeping tar pit, I would assume. But it's very interesting that he's always fetching for um, stomping ground here. That way our fulminated mages really become quite good. Kitchen phase. Okay. Spill that one to the bottom, this one to the top. Kill that one. Have a good day. Hey, yeah, better have more lands. Ah, huh, cool. Yeah, who's pillaging whom here? Who's your daddy? Please wait with the windswept youth. Perfect. Grixis, Ponza, what up? And we might have run him out of lands here. So how do you like me now? Now we're gonna get back our, f f I guess, Formula Mage. Hydra. Haste and protection from blue. Uh huh. So you, you produce a 1 1 with protection from blue. Respect. Alright. Um, so we're gonna go with Formula Image here. That thing I can't attack anymore. Mm. And then next turn we also have snap bolt. Or snap call against command. <clears throat> Depending on how you want to see it. This one 
now it really becomes interesting. I think we're gonna go with bolt because I want to K command the nimble back. Unless he has the Simmons Groovy Guy. That would be unfortunate, of course. Sure. So, two, three, we can even spare one to have a look here. Looky, looky. Anger of the gods. Yeah, I don't care about that one. So we're gonna get rid of a storm rain and then we're gonna attack. Oh. All right, so we're taking two damage here just because of the anger and I don't even mind Losing my um, Formulator Mage here. It's just that I don't want to lose Formulator and Snapcaster. Now we have a decent clock and two Cryptics in hand. Thoughts is not going to come into play. Hmm. Bird of Paradise, say. Eh? Sure. Don't think that's worth. Doing something over. Now oh, that's pretty good. Now we do have Nimble to counter, and we could have also just threatened Lethal here. But then we could still have lost. If we did that, then Blood Braid plus a Lightning Bolt is Lethal. But now, of course, we're just going to cycle, counter the ability. We could even let it resolve now, it wouldn't even matter, but we're going to counter because we can. Yeah, so Ponza. No lands for you today. I have to hope that our opponent is not on a burn or very aggressive plan here. Do 
Dum, 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 dum. All right, I'm gonna cut the video short here and don't let you wait. So we finally made it into the game with our opponent only utilizing five minutes, but he apparently lost his connection. So um, no fault there to our opponent apparently. And I'll be right back as soon as he has regained connection and stability. All right, that was very unfortunate. Our opponent um, apparently wasn't able to regain his internet connection and therefore just lost the game. So um, we're skipping right into turn at round number five. But I think the video is already two hours long or something. So. We're gonna keep having our two colorless lands in hand is unfortunate, but so Bloodsamire actually can only mean two things in this meta. I think either is a faithless looting deck, so it's Hogarth, Rich Wine. And that is very bad for us. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost impossible here for our opponent. He's gonna get back Blood Gas and Benchline and have two other creatures on the battlefield. Or what he could also do if he has another phasal zooting. Hmm. So I'm gonna go against Jace because I don't want him to be able to play Hogak. Which means at all times stopping him from having two creatures on the battlefield. Not the troll. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, there's just nothing we can do about these types of draws. Like, we wouldn't be able to do anything against this. So we're gonna bring in our surgicals, get rid of our fell seizes, dread ball for Hogak. God, it does. Although I kind of like Liliana's, I think they're generally just a little too slow against that deck.
gonna beat anything with this hand. Here at least we have a little bit of perspective. Well, against a Crypt Breaker, Lightning Bolt is, of course, pretty good. Don't want him to discard anything, therefore, I'm just going to kill it right away. Um. Our opponent's so confident that he just kept a one lander. Yeah, I want to have those matchups as well. Or I go one lander on the draw, still win. But we actually can race here. Like two hits from Nimble, and then we have two times Bolt Snap Bolt. Oh, he's getting rid of the black ass, sure. But that one can block. Karen and Peter can block as well. Yeah, we should be good here. Can't imagine that we're still gonna lose this. I mean, it's still possible if he has like three bench fine. His graveyard again. So are we going to keep this on the backs of Surgical? We have a decent hand, we just need one more land. Could be anything, preferably red though. I think we're going to keep. Otherwise, like without the Surgical, we're not going to win this anyway. And if we draw another land, then we actually have quite some good plays. That is pretty bad. So Grave Crawler is gonna trigger Prize on the ground, right? Mm. 
But if he has another creature, then he's just gonna bring in Holgok. And <laughs> we can't beat either of them. Alright, I'm just gonna go after Great Crawler here. Let's read on the ground first. Yeah. I should have waited till draw step. That was a mistake. Next turn we should be dead. Full Gag of course also triggers surprise Amogram. And if we do not draw <clears throat> Nothing to be done here. I think we don't would. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. So, we did have a couple of really good games, really entertaining ones, and then we had two non games. One due to our opponent, and the other one also due to our opponent. Um. I put Jigsaw Jailer out because it's like against um, with Altar of Dementia and Hogak, Jigsaw Jailer was a pretty good card. But uh, the new Hogak lists are running um, Lawless Troll and generally are a little stronger on the board than from the graveyard. So Jigsaw Jailer is probably not. A good option here anymore and therefore we might have to go back to running ley lines which of course isn't perfect uh, new spell bomb is all right as well and yeah i hope you enjoyed the league as i said i'll be uploading probably one more uh, during the weekend and yeah see you around guys